Hi guys, this is Peter Rodner. Um, this is another app tutorial you guys can use for your C2 project classes. So just as a note, this app only works in vertical view, so therefore my tutorial will be in that view. You're going to go to the Google Play Store and you're going to search for a comic and mem creator. There's a pro version, but I'll be using the free version for my tutorial. So once you click the icon, it's going to say log in or sign up. Just click the work offline and it will let you open up a new comic. So this little purple box is where you're going to create your comic. Up top, you can add frames, you can minus frames, you can move forward and backwards through your frames, and you can zoom in on your frames. So down on the bottom, you have a few other tools. There's the save tool a text box tool. Uh, this one tries to have you export it to the offline. I don't really use it. But what I really like about this is it gives you a ton of images and not only does it provide you with images but you can use your own images. So you can maybe take a picture of your classroom and then you can have the students create a comic of your classroom. You can maybe download images of different countries. Maybe they're going to Paris or they're going to a restaurant and you can download those. However, like I said, they provide you with a ton of images. So for example, in background Background. There's a ton of images that that's already loaded onto this app. Um, so for example, you can pretty much find probably something that's related to where you want to be. So once you have a background, obviously you want to fill it with people. So they have a ton of different people. And what's really great about this is not only do you get the person. So for example, um, I'll pick uh, this green guy right here. And he is like just one view and I can move them around but if you click on this bottom so you notice I have a few other ones so obviously I can delete them um, but if I click this button here I'm given three different options for them and that's actually a low amount a majority of them provide you with a lot more um, upwards of like 15 to 12 different views of one person that way you can change them up in their comic um, so once you've decided what kind of view you want them you can also move them around not only in the screen but also for example, if you click this second one, you can flip him so that would face him the other way. You can resize him so you're not going to pinch or anything. There's a little scroll bar down at the bottom. You can zoom up or down, make him big or small. Okay. Not only that, you can rotate him 360 degrees. Okay. So if I want him to be lying down on the bed, I can rotate him like that. I can move him down maybe a little bit. And then obviously I can restore him back to normal. Um, I think this is an excellent, excellent idea and I think your students will really enjoy it. Now not only that, you get a ton of objects, just random objects that you might want to put into your story. Um, for example, maybe in his bedroom there is a Christmas tree now. So I can put a Christmas tree in his bedroom. Or in addition, there are a ton of effects. So here we have a ton of effects that we can choose from. So maybe in his room there is a bomb okay, on his bed. So you can add that in there. Okay. In addition to that, like I said, there is the text box. Now they give you the text bubbles. And not only that, you can also put a text on the top or the bottom. For the text bottles, um, it, it's pretty much standard. You can type it in. You can choose your size. Um, you can choose different fonts. There's a few options. So I'll pick Arial. Um, you can do this mem font or comic font. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And then I press OK. And for this, you can't really change it that much. You can't zoom it in, zoom it out, but you can just move it around. So here he's like, oh my gosh, um, there's a bomb. Now, what I like about this also is that if you press the duplicate button, this plus sign, um, it'll allow you to duplicate your current frame. So I could just say, yes, I want to duplicate that. So now I have two frames that look exactly the same. The word bubble doesn't save, but everything else is the same. So for example, if I wanted to, I can go back to my effects and I can maybe find something that looks like the bomb exploded and I can take this one. And then I can maybe put this on top and even I can delete this down at the bottom right hand. It'll be deleted. And now if you look, when I preview, it goes back and forth. Um, so one other thing, the bottom text and the top text, I really don't like the way these look too much. So for example, I can say, boom. 
Um, obviously, if this is the bottom and top, it's going to be a little bit bigger. So maybe 22. I press OK. So I don't really like the way this looks. Also, I feel like the frame and the pictures are so small that to put the, the text in here, especially if they're going to write a lot, it'll cover up the whole picture. So I have an option uh, of thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my students take screenshots and then put these images into Polaris and then they can write out their story around it um, using Polaris. So I'm going to delete that right there. Now what you can do is you can zoom in on that top right hand button and what this lets you do is obviously slide through you can see all your images and your frames but if you pinch it and open it you can obviously zoom in a little and this is probably a good size where you can take a screenshot of the photo and crop it and then you obviously have that image that you can add into your Polaris office. Um, like I said, this app has a ton of other things in there, a um, ton of other images. You really need to go through them in order to find them, but I think your students will really enjoy it. There's faces where they can just put random faces. Um, you can... Um, you can add backgrounds, like I said, of your own. So, for example, if I want Charlie Brown in my comic book or there's somebody uh, maybe very sad and he has to help him, I can add Charlie Brown. I can then maybe put other people in. Um, I can put maybe Donald Duck and maybe Donald Duck's there to help him. Maybe I want him to look a little bit happier or... Um, say hello so he says hello uh, so like I said there's a lot of fun ways that they can use this so uh, just to give you an idea of how I would use it for Polaris office I'm gonna make a quick tutorial of it and I'm just gonna show you guys in a little bit so hold on tight so here's just a little um, PowerPoint that I made uh, using the images from the comic book so here this is Peter Rodner and the magic genie so like I said uh, they can take the images and then they can obviously write maybe what's going on in the story or they can read this or share this um, in their presentations. So I hope this tutorial will help you out and I hope you guys will be able to use this in your C2 project days. If you have any questions, you're welcome to leave them in the comment box and I'll do my best to try to answer them. Okay, have a great class.